Good morning. I thought I'll make a video uh, outside because it's a bit of a mess uh, indoors. Although outside we might get bothered by uh, some chickens and the cat here was asking for some attention. Um, yesterday I brought home this uh, this wreck of a bicycle, an Ultra. I don't think it's a uh, special brand or anything. It's just a cheap uh, bicycle. But I saw it had a nice uh, saddle, so I saved it from the uh, scrapyard. You gotta go. No, 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 no. Um, the mission for the day is uh, to make this thing disappear into my uh, scrap metal container and to try out the saddle which isn't a sagging and still in a pretty good condition so a uh, so chickens so um, it might uh, clean up nicely just like that saddle that I uh, restored a few days ago so here's a closer look at the uh, saddle it's a uh, B66 model so not a B66S like the one that I restored or fixed up recently um, I think it still looks uh, pretty good, a lot better than the one that I fixed up. Although it is uh, suffering from the same uh, kind of problems. The uh, leather is, uh, is a bit dry. There's some chickens moving in. Can you please go away? I'm trying to make a video here. Yeah, you want some food. Can you please be quiet? Alright, I'm back after that little chicken interruption and I had myself a tea. So there is some play at the front of the saddle, just like that model that I fixed up. So I might have to replace this bolt with an M8. Although this is not as uh, severe as uh, the one that I fixed up, because most of the metal of this bracket is. Uh, still there but like this it will eventually uh, wear away and it looks like the uh, the push bolt I don't remember the proper name has been extended quite a bit and that uh, has stretched the leather just like uh, it is supposed to do here's the top of the saddle and it is not sagging as much as uh, that model that I fixed up. So that's good. I think my ass will uh, like it. There's that chicken again. Go away. And here's a look at the uh, rear of the saddle without my ass. And this uh, still looks okay. There's hardly any rust on these uh, springs or on the rest of the frame. A lot nicer than. Uh, that saddle that I fixed up. Although it is kind of weird that these brackets for uh, mounting a saddle back have been moved to the front. I guess somebody was in here before. Because it's not like you can move those things by hand. Now let's remove this uh, saddle so I can put it on my uncle's uh, bicycle and take it out for my uh, daily exercise ride. So here's a look at the underside of the saddle and that looks a lot nicer than that uh, B66 model that I fixed up. That one looked like uh, straw. This one is uh, still smooth. So here's my uncle's old gazelle bicycle. Let's remove this uh, Chinesium saddle. This uh, cheap saddle is actually quite comfortable. My ass likes it. It is uh, starting to lightly rain. That kind of sucks. That uh, changes my plans. So because of the rain, I moved uh, indoors. And now I am first going to fix up this uh, saddle. Take care of this uh, rattle in the uh, nose of the saddle. And that means uh, dealing with these annoying fasteners inside those springs.
I now know that Brooks makes a special tool for this uh, uh, push bolt or tension bolt, but I don't think they have a special tool for the uh, springs or for the uh, nuts inside these springs. Although so far so good. But it is getting more difficult as the uh, nut moves uh, up. Okay, I got one. Now the other. The whole spring moved. It is moving. The nut is moving. Hmm. Maybe the uh, brackets at the rear got moved this way. Got it. And now this thing. I guess I need to uh, loosen up the tension bolt. And I made a special spanner for that. I made my own. Uh, Brooks tool from an old uh, spanner. Actually, I think uh, this was already modified years ago when I worked on my old uh, car. It's kind of stuck. I still cannot remove the frame. It is still kind of stuck with this. The thread on this bolt is a bit uh, damaged. So here's a closer look at the front of the saddle. And there's a bit of wear there. But not as extreme as uh, with that other saddle that I fixed up. Um, I don't see uh, a way of uh, loosening up this uh, this pin, so I guess I'm going to use the uh, Chinesium hexaw again. So the last time I cut through this pin, I cut it uh, right here, but uh, I also cut off some of this uh, bracket. So this time I'm going to try and uh, cut it on this side. Leave as much as possible from the original material. It might be difficult, but I can always uh, use the angle grinder. I guess that's plan B. New plan, I'm going to cut it between these uh, two legs of the frame. There's plenty of room there and the uh, bolt isn't uh, thick there. I do not have to cut through the square section. And I got a screwdriver to wedge uh, these uh, two parts apart. So let's do this. And I installed a new uh, Chinese blade. So all of the teeth are still there. Man, this blade is terrible. Most of the teeth are already gone. I think that pin must be hardened. There at the end of the blade there are still a few teeth left. But in the middle there isn't any cutting action. They are definitely case hardened. And with the other uh, saddle most of the pin was worn away. So that probably took care of the hard part of the pin. 
Uh, I'm hardly scratching the surface. Okay. Problems, problems, problems. Or challenges. Yeah. Challenges. Let's call them challenges. Well, this might take a while. The camera is in my way, so I'm going to switch you off. So, new plan. I'm going to try and uh, grind this head away. And it will be difficult because there's no way I can grab that securely into the vise. I might have to uh, switch to the Dremel. But that thing is rather flimsy and not really manly. Alright, let's try this. I got my uh, air muffs and uh, safety goggles. But you guys uh, be safe as well, okay? Here goes nothing. As you can see, I already started cutting into the front of the uh, frame. Because at the angle I was holding the uh, grinder, I could not see this uh, front part. Alright, I will uh, try a hammer and a chisel. See if I can get these uh, parts away. But, I'm not going to film that. Damn, it is uh, weird to talk with uh, air muffs. To my shame, frustration and uh, embarrassment, I have started using the uh, Dremel tool, or Ferrum tool, the Dremel died uh, last year. But yeah, this will probably take uh, till Sunday. After a bit of angle grinding, which went quicker than expected, I got the head removed with some uh, damage, but yeah, I'm not too bothered about that. But I guess I will have to do some more uh, angle grinding, or I could try the hacksaw again. This uh, worn down part might be soft enough for the uh, Chinesium teeth to survive. But yeah, I, I cannot hold this. Maybe I can. I could try and uh, put this in the vise, like this. Yeah, why not try this? I got plenty of Chinesium uh, hacksaw blades. Alright, a brand new, professionally hardened uh, steel Chinesium blade. That is already missing a couple of teeth. Let's see if I can cut through this uh, worn part. There shouldn't be any case hardening over here. It feels good. I think something is happening. Yeah, this is working. Re ah, real professional. <laughs> Got it. The hole has uh, become a bit uh, oval. And that will be difficult to drill out because I do need to enlarge it a bit for the uh, M8 uh, bolt. Here you can see the front of the saddle. And quite a bit of material was worn away here. It's not as extreme as that B66S saddle. On the, uh, on the other model, this uh, front part was basically flat. Well, let's try and uh, see if I can file a little bit away. Because uh, as it is, the uh, M8 bolt is not fitting. One of my wonderful old red tail files. I think this uh, belonged to my grandfather. And it was probably worn away somewhere in the, uh, I don't know, Second World War. Maybe a bit later. But this is quite soft. And I think Brook should... Uh, change their design. Let's 
because this is the second saddle that I'm looking at with the uh, same issue. But this still works easier than uh, trying to enlarge this hole. I'm already done. That was quick. So now I can reassemble the frame. Just too bad that I don't have any new fasteners anymore. But uh, this one is still up. okay. And it is long enough. I do have a new washer and uh, a new lock nut. Thirteen millimeters is not the right size. But the uh, ring end of the spanner does work. Installed. At the moment the uh, springs at the rear and the uh, upper part of the frame do not really line up. I need to push them uh, forward in order to uh, insert the uh, studs that are on the uh, leather cover. Does anybody have uh, any uh, tips or ideas or procedures on how to uh, best line these things up? Because these springs have been uh, a bit uh, frustrating for me. Too bad that I don't have any uh, imperial uh, dies, otherwise I would have tried to clean up this uh, thread on this uh, tensioning pin. Because uh, if you tension the uh, leather too much, at some point that uh, damaged part will become a, a problem. But I guess uh, it will uh, run out of this uh, bracket before it gets to the damage. So I guess that's not something uh, I will have to worry about. I just noticed this crack in the uh, frame that is uh, riveted to the leather. I don't think it's a problem at the moment, but it will be a problem at some point. Um, I could take out these uh, rivets and uh, replace them with uh, uh, nice copper ones. I've seen people do this on the internet. But yeah, it's too much work for now. So next I'm going to put some uh, grease on the underside now that the uh, frame has been removed and this is a uh, clear stuff and it's definitely no uh, proof right although I've seen videos on the internet where people would uh, soak these uh, leather covers in, uh, in water to make them uh, smooth and subtle again and then they also try to um, uh, get them back into shape by uh, putting straps on, uh, on the front here. I guess this one got stretched a little bit. But I don't think it will be a problem uh, for my ass. And I'm not going to bother about the uh, uh, top side. Because first I'm going to take it out for a uh, test ride. I've also seen people use uh, uh, vegetable oil, oils on the underside. I thought that was uh, kind of interesting, but yeah, I need my oil to make pancakes. And I love pancakes. They are more important than leather saddles. Well, this will take a while, but I'm not going to film all this, because then the video, as usual, will get rather long and probably uh, kind of boring. Using my pocket knife to try and get the uh, leather behind this uh, metal part. But uh, with the help of the uh, heat gun it should uh, melt the uh, grease 
right into a place. Well, I hope it will uh, help. And I did the same uh, at the rear. So I got here the uh, hair dryer. I tried to find the uh, paint stripper, but uh, that is almost uh, two years uh, missing. I should really try and find it because I need to do some painting. House painting. Well, this is slower than I like. That paint dryer would have worked better. But yeah, there really is no uh, point in you guys uh, watching this uh, shit. After a long session with the hair dryer, the grease has melted sufficiently behind this uh, metal piece. And this leather saddle has uh, flared out a bit. I might need to put, uh, put a wrap around this uh, front section of the saddle. Although, yeah. First, I will put the uh, saddle back together and go for a test ride. Because that was uh, the plan when I started this morning. It's time to reassemble the saddle and I'm not going to film all that. I'm just going to say that I did uh, back off the tensioning pin and I did loosen up that new uh, bolt that I installed. That way there will be some play at the uh, rear so I can force the uh, springs back into position. I'll try to force the springs back into position. Um, yeah, I think this will be a frustrating job. By the way, I'm not completely sure where these uh, brackets and uh, washers should go underneath or on top of this uh, part of the frame. Uh, I guess it uh, doesn't uh, matter all that much. I'll put the uh, washers below to help reinforce the uh, frame that has a crack already. So, and then I will uh, put these brackets on top. I think it looks good. Not sure if it is good, but to be honest, I don't care all that much at the moment. So it looks like that this uh, metal part that sits in the nose of the uh, of the leather cover is a bit wide. So perhaps I should try and uh, pinch this together a little bit in the vise, just a little bit. At the front of the uh, tensioning pin, there is a little uh, tab there, and I assume that uh, is there to prevent the. Uh, pin from turning together with the uh, with the knot but for some reason that is no longer working and that makes uh, reassembly rather difficult so here's a look inside the uh, front metal part of the saddle and there really isn't uh, anything that keeps the uh, pin in place so I remove this part of the frame and now I'm having a hard time to uh, retension the uh, saddle because the uh, tensioning pin keeps uh, turning with the uh, nut. So I'm using a plier to grab the uh, bolt or the tensioning pin in the rear and then I can uh, start turning. I think Brooks should uh, put a uh, uh, Allen head uh, uh, into this uh, and for your information I did uh, put this front uh, metal part into the vise to uh, pinch it together just a little bit so uh, this metal frame would not be able to uh, slide to uh, from left to right Perhaps this uh, saddle has been stretched too much. I don't know. Perhaps I ruined it by using heat. 
perhaps I should uh, throw it in the washer and hopefully then it uh, will shrink again but I really doubt that but yeah people on YouTube they try the uh, strangest and stupidest things okay now I shall try and uh, reinstall this piece so the front of the uh, tensioning pin came out of that part so I'm redoing uh, all of my work now where is my spinner where is Padre? ah there it is Hopefully this time it uh, will stay put. Perhaps I should uh, modify the rear of the uh, tensioning pin. I could grind a couple of uh, flats on here so I can grab it with a uh, 6 or 7 millimeter spanner. I will tighten this up a little bit more. Not sure if it's a good idea. But yeah, you gotta try something. So now the struggle to reinstall this part of the frame can begin. First I need to remove these uh, nuts. And I uh, installed the washers underneath this uh, frame. Because um, this part here was wearing into this uh, metal part. So putting the washers underneath here and perhaps they uh, are always uh, meant to be uh, installed underneath here I don't know but I think it was a good idea and now I will uh, put these brackets for the uh, saddlebags on here and now the fight to install these are Damn springs can begin. So far, so good. Putting this to the side, and now um, perhaps I should install a washer uh, under the uh, nut. I think I'll do that. Perhaps it's a bad idea, I don't know. I will find out. I found a couple of uh, period correct washers, meaning they are not new. And I believe uh, on my other saddles there were no washers. But I like washers. And I like saying washers. Come on, get in there. And lucky for me, the thread on the stud wasn't damaged, and I got uh, both imperial nuts. So no struggles with uh, using uh, imperial and uh, metric nuts. But installing these uh, within the uh, springs will always be a bit of a struggle I think it is going look at me I'm spinning a washer or a nut with a pair of pliers how pathetic but it works, it gets the job done. Well, I 
I don't have a saddleback. So uh, I'm not going to bother with uh, lining up those uh, um, brackets. This is as tight as I'm going to uh, make it. All right, everything is uh, back together. And it still looks okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll try to get those uh, back into uh, position later. I think uh, now I can finally go for a test drive. After all, it is uh, no longer raining. It is uh, flared out just a little bit. Um, I saw a video on the YouTube where uh, they had uh, holes in the in the leather here, and then they uh, used the lace to hold things uh, together. I think that was uh, kind of smart. Maybe I will try that someday. I almost forgot to uh, tighten things up again. But, uh, well, this being metric, it won't be a hard job. And the uh, bolt shouldn't spin. So, installed a little bit too long, but yeah, I don't care, at least it is uh, no longer rattling. Now I will drink my tea and then I will uh, go for a test ride, and I will tell you what I, uh, hey I might even uh, bring the uh, camera. Damn. This is no Earl Grey. This is some funky strawberry shit. Whoever invented that should be hanged. Really, hanged and quartered. Twice. Yeah, I'm not going to drink this. As you can see, the sun is uh, shining. This should still be loose on here. And here's the Brooks saddle that looks kind of huge. Although it is only a centimeter longer than a uh, B66S saddle. Well, I'll take this spanner with me when I go for my test ride. But first I uh, will uh, test fit this thing, or test sit this thing. Okay, I think this uh, looks pretty. That feels okay as well. Maybe I need to change the angle of the saddle just a little bit. But yeah, I think this uh, this will work. Yeah. Right, I changed the angle of the saddle just a little bit. Let's try this again. get used to this and the leather is already softer than when I started all right now I'm going to go for my uh, test ride I'll take this bag with me so I can bring my camera and when I'm done with my test ride I will continue scrapping this uh, ultra bicycle See you later. So I'm halfway into my ride, and so far so good. My ass isn't complaining. 
although I might uh, change the angle of the uh, saddle just a bit because it feels like I'm sliding uh, backwards but yeah these uh, old uh, uh, fastening locks are kind of hard to adjust those uh, more modern uh, seat posts are, uh, are a lot better all right I think I should continue but not before I give you a look around the world is getting so green it's a wonderful time of the year well I should go back and uh, think about starting to uh, mow the grass I will try and film a little bit more on the bicycle the mud is getting uh, dry already dusty Here we go. It can get uh, rather muddy here during the winter time. But so far it hasn't been a a terribly wet winter. That yellow thing there, that's for uh, a uh, main gas line. So you better uh, watch out when you're starting to play with a uh, excavator. All right, I think that's enough uh, talking and cycling with one hand for today. I'm going to put this thing back in the uh, in the bag. Hi, horses. I think I'm only recording uh, wind noise at the moment. I'm probably talking to myself like an idiot on a bicycle. Lucky there's no one here. Right. I'm going to put you back into the bag. So I made it back from my uh, test ride, about 15 uh, kilometers, and uh, well, my ass isn't complaining. It was actually pretty good for a first ride. It was definitely a lot better than this uh, plastic piece of shit that feels like a boulder under your ass. All right, uh, let's uh, take it off and then uh, continue this uh, inside the barn. It's annoying that. There are nuts on both sides of this uh, saddle. Now they're both on one side. But I still find them annoying. So yesterday I ran out of steam and uh, failed to finish uh, this video. I also did not uh, scrap that uh, ultra bicycle. Um, I did however enjoy my ride on this uh, freshly fixed up uh, bicycle. It was sitting better than uh, I expected. Um, I think it was my most successful or my best ever uh, ride on a leather saddle. It was definitely a lot better than uh, that uh, B66S model that I uh, 
fixed up uh, earlier. This one. It is still a bit sticky from all that grease that I uh, slapped on here. And it might uh, need a little bit uh, more tensioning. But yeah, this one is going back uh, in storage. Next thing I need to do is put some of this uh, uh, leather cream on here. And before I do this, I want to clean off the surface. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use for that. I thought about uh, lightly sanding the surface. But yeah, the risk of me fucking this up is... Uh, is always there. So I think I will uh, use some uh, this stuff. Not sure if it's a good idea, but I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to risk it. Let, Let me get a uh, rag. Not too much. I also just noticed that this uh, saddle is missing uh, the badger. Eh, that's not a big deal. And these uh, rivets, some of them, well, all of them are also uh, lightly rusted. But I think my ass will take care of that. There's not a whole lot of dirt coming off the saddle. Well, I think that's clean enough. So I left the saddle to dry out a bit and now I'm going to apply some of this uh, uh, leather cream. The uh, Rapide. It smells a bit funny. But I'm sure it won't kill me. It is not uh, soaking up as much of the uh, cream as that uh, other saddle. Because this saddle isn't as dry as that uh, B66S model. But it is slowly soaking it up. is also uh, turning black and that surprised me on the other saddle it's changed from brown to black even though this uh, cream stuff is uh, is brown a little bit more and then I will uh, go do something else and leave this uh, to dry for a while um, uh, Putting some of this stuff on the uh, edges of the leather. They do feel a bit dry. This uh, leather cream is for uh, horse riding saddles. I have no idea if I can uh, over soak these uh, saddles make them totally soft too soft to sit on all right I'm going to go and uh, wash my hands and let this dry and then uh, later I will show you the result so it's about an hour later um, tea time and the uh, grease has been drying a bit, or cream. I can still feel uh, it is a bit uh, sticky. There's some uh, resistance, but uh, it feels a bit, yeah, a little bit wet. All right, I will uh, polish this up, and uh, then I'm done with this uh, saddle.
some uh, black stuff is coming off. I'm hoping uh, I didn't uh, over grease this uh, saddle because then the uh, leather might uh, stretch too much and uh, you will end up sitting on the rails. As you can see I wrapped a uh, ribbon around the front of the uh, saddle and I will let it sit for a uh, few days like this and uh, then this thing will go onto my uh, uncle's old uh, bicycle. I might try and uh, tighten this uh, ribbon up a little bit more because it's kind of awkward material to work with. Um, later I might uh, try and uh, punch a couple of holes in here and use a, uh, a leather lace. That's a, oh, I think that looks cool. I just noticed something that might explain why I like this uh, saddle so much. Um, as you can see this uh, spring has uh, well basically three coils and the other saddle that I fixed up has four and the uh, material on this spring is also a little bit thicker. This is 4.9 millimeters and this is uh, 4.6. So yeah I think this uh, spring is maybe uh, twice as stiff as this one. Alright now I'm really gonna scrap that uh, ultra bicycle. Scrapping the ultra bicycle became a separate video because this video is already way too long. I will place a link in the uh, top right corner to that shit show. Um, I used to saddle a lot for more than a year and it still sits fine but unfortunately the bicycle is currently broken and uh, needs to be fixed. The uh, metal frame under the saddle also broke at some point, but to be honest I hardly notice it. It would however be cool if I could fix it, but yeah, there's always the chance of me screwing things up. Well that's it for this bicycle shit show, like subscribe yada 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 and to be continued.